Hello, it's your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome to our very first Madden 24 video. This is actually a game that I've been itching to play for a long time, at least on my PC and on YouTube. I've been sitting on this for a while. How have you guys been? We're going to go ahead and introduce Madden 24 back into the channel. And one of the things that we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to do a franchise mode specifically with one of my favorite teams or my favorite team, I should say, the Seattle Seahawks. This is going to be a different type of gameplay than what you guys are used to. I know we play a lot of Nintendo Switch games, so I am trying to switch things up a little bit. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and take a deep dive. Week one, we're going to play against the LA Rams. We have a lot of stuff to do. So I went ahead and did the training camp and we ultimately simulated to after the preseason. So we are officially at week one. And to be completely honest, our injury report is not the kindest at least, you know, compared to other teams. So as of right now, our guy Tyler Lockett is out for two weeks with the torn labrum. So this is going to be a really big loss for our offense. And then we have left end Mike Morris out with a partial ACL tear. His is not a very significant injury like Tyler Lockett. And as you guys are keeping up with real life football, you know, we're, we're not really good on offense i'm hoping to change that at least on on madden now as far as my sliders go i went ahead and tried to do everything to be kind of competitive and make things a little bit challenging for me i really wanted to kind of simulate a 15 minute football game now it's going to be hard to do that with the stats but i really want things to be as uh, simulated as possible and these videos are going to be a little bit long and i apologize but you guys are welcome to skip through wherever you guys want to go. So as for the Rams, we have Cam Akers, who is out with a ruptured disc. He's out for four weeks. That's a pretty significant loss for the Rams. And honestly, based off of that, I don't remember what I did my game plan accordingly. So what ended up happening, I was recording Madden 24 at the beginning of the season, and it turned out that I kept bottlenecking and ultimately we ended up just switching some parts from PC. So I don't know exactly what our game plan is, Right now, we're starting off of a fresh slate. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. 60 minute experience. We're pretty even as far as some of the things go. Looking over our X factors, you know, Aaron Donald, obvious X factor, Cooper Cup, obvious X factor, and our boy DK Metcalf. Now, you guys are probably going to hate me. And you guys might call me a Seattle homer, but there's one thing I want to do real quick. Okay, so we switched Bobby Wagner over to an X Factor. I honestly think he is elite. He's still elite, even for his age. It's week one of the National Football League, where division rivals will clash in the NFC West. It's the Rams and the Hawks coming up next. From the home of the 12s, they raised the banner just a moment ago. We are set for football at Lumen Field here a mile south of downtown Seattle. Today we start the new year with an NFC matchup out west. As it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, new season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday, looking at two teams with great expectations here to begin 2023. It's always fun to get a new season started, isn't it, partner? Because everyone feels like they've got a shot at the defending champs. They think that they can be the new champs. And here we are getting things going. Let's have some fun. A new season of NFL football is here, and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. They had no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense, and they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. Stafford going to put it up right away. He'll get this one to cut complete. Of optimism and 14 picks used in the NFL draft. The Rams think they can be back a lot quicker. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. 
That's down the field for Jefferson. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Back in completions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. So the Seahawks ready to take over on offense, and it is a first-time Pro Bowler who leads him out, Charles, in his 11th year now, Geno Smith. Seahawks as true contenders. Smith. That's to the tight end, Kobe Parkinson. And he'll be corralled well on field right around the 40 yard line. Geno now to throw. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. Throwing on third down, Smith. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. To the quarterback. That you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. How to approach this? Third down and 16 yards to go. Out of the gun, Smith. And he's going to be sacked. Such, but but two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. I'll say, partner, and also say this. Seattle, we're used to seeing them have size in their corners. But Devin Witherspoon, that early man, he may not have the size of his physical play. But I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. And he'll get that to Michelle, complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit. Often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of that. Well, the ball is out. Michelle lost it. And the Seahawks have picked it up. Myers' kick is good. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. They need a big play here, third and 10. Yeah, almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got 9. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after 1 on EA Sports. Throwing is Smith. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Smith. This is Fant on the short completion. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Under three yards of carry at the moment. The Seahawks on third down. They've hit four of seven. Here it's third and two. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 42 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Coming in, he really likes his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend. Show that he's right. Now it's Smith. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Ernest Jones. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy. He'll take over with excellent field position following the interception. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. The interceptions here early on in this one, and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching the bit from their coaching staff? A shotgun snap for Smith. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Now Smith. Being chased out left. And that one drops down incomplete. Smith now to throw. 
throw to Eskridge, complete on the out route. First interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter. Throwing to Stanford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. On first down at Stafford. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. And let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Touchdown, Rams! Sonny Michelle, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Rams have taken the lead get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target. Here as they start with the first down. Now a throw out to his fullback. It's complete. Throwing quickly out wide, Atwell. Up the middle, it's Michelle. Muscling free near the 40. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Now Stafford. Short pass tip, but caught anyway. Here's Stafford now on second down. That's out to his running back, Michelle. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. To the air again, Stafford. Trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. That's a tough blow there offensively. You had a decent drive going. You've got the lead, and now things completely flip on you. Yeah, because they've been dominating on both sides of the ball. But after that mistake there, it's got to be tough for them to look up and realize we're trailing in this ballgame. I thought we had complete control. Stafford here coming off his pick six. Open man is Atwell complete. On first and ten, Stafford. Middle of the field to Jefferson. Here's Stafford. They'll get this one to Cop complete. Third and two, Stafford. That is back to throw, Stafford. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Finish it with six. Let's get it through. The kick by Crosby is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll begin up in the Still City, Akershire Stadium in Pittsburgh, where it was the visiting Niners who are able to come away with the road victory. Brock Purdy, two touchdown passes as his guys are able to get the victory in their season opener. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Carolina Panthers. B. John Robinson, a touchdown run in the victory. Lastly, let's check in on our nation's capital to see what's happening with the Washington Commanders at home at FedEx Field. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Arizona Cardinals. Ezekiel Elliott, over 100 yards rushing with a touchdown run. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They are all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. a whole lot 
We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Now Gino. Catch is made by Metcalf. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. On first down, Smith. This is Fant on the short completion. And Walker once more. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. Over the middle complete. It's Walker. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. The throw to the middle, take it in. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Now to the ground, here's Walker. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Geno out a throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. You wanted to be in coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Self and some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. And he's going to have a Rams first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. In the book out him. They were there and they tackle him for a loss. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man to play. From the red zone now, Stafford. Down inside the 10. And the Rams are looking at first and goal as the first and goal. Throwing is Stafford. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Rams have taken the lead. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And a throw the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. From the gun, it's Walker. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. It was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Guys come and pick them up, pick them up. And someone jumped. And oh, it'll be intercepted. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. At the 38 now after a good start to the drive. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Got a man, it's Higby complete. He's got room at the 30. Still going. Touchdown, LA. Ready, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. Going down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter. And the entire fourth remaining, so... Straight. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Rams are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42. And following the incompletion on second down. Now it's Stafford. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Rams first down. As and as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more. Michelle running up the gut. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The 17 now. Here's a first and 10. Out of the gun. Stafford. Touchdown! Fourth touchdown pass of the game for Matthew Stafford. And the Rams are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. Number that they forced in this runaway contest. This is Fant on the short completion. And he goes out of bounds just shy. Of... They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Brings him down. Has plenty to talk about. Not just a sack, but a big win built off the efforts of this defense. 
A big gain there. They'll run for it. It's Walker. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. 40. Smith. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. Available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going. To the air again, Smith. This is caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. To throw on second down is Smith. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Dwayne Eskridge from a yard out. And the Seahawks have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. Stafford. And this throw incomplete. Hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. A give, this is Michelle. There he goes, right side. And he's down inside the five at the four. This is first and goal. Michelle is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line. Stafford. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. Do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the... No, oh, it's out. Smith lost it. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. And they'll have... They'll go left side here with Michelle. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down. Evans is not going to get in here. And they will run it with Michelle. And maybe a measure of revenge there. Oh, He's had his way in this one for the two-minute warning. Now Stafford on third and goal. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown, Rams. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss. Just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf, 55 yards. Another carry for Michelle on second down. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on here to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. This is taken at the 23. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. This is actually one of the worst games I have played in recent times. And I have never had a 15 minute game where the yards gained were this high. It's actually kind of crazy. Nevertheless, though, um, we took a really fat L, as you guys saw in the highlights. We played really good up to the first half. We actually ended up tying because of our defense. And we were in the game up to the second half. Um, because of our defense now it was not until the third and fourth quarter we we just got blown out out of the waters literally geno smith ultimately had four turnovers two passing touchdowns didn't even offset it matthew stafford looked like his lion self putting up almost 450 yards six touchdowns two interceptions and at that point our defense was just gassed so i mean sony michelle himself had a game i mean he not only did he have 127 yards but i believe he also had 
Oh no, 44 yards, but that's that's quite a bit. You know, DK Metcalf led the game, but that was solely due to a garbage time touchdown. So we have a lot of work to do as far as offense goes. And I don't know if it was because of the offensive line. I have to go back and, and look at the video and while I'm editing. Now, offensively, we didn't have, or defensively, we didn't have the best game in the world. I mean, Jamal Adams came to play. He had two interceptions, and I believe he forced a fumble as well. So I think he's going to be player of uh, defensive player of the week. I just wish this type of Jamal Adams would show up in in IRL. Now, blocking wise, we only had two sacks. There was one um, strip sack that the defense for the Rams had at one point. And let me see, that was caused by John Jonah Williams, and that was just because at this point, you know garbage time that is it for this video next week we're going to be going up against the detroit lions at detroit which is going to be a really tough game for us so stay tuned it should be a better game next time around and i appreciate you guys' patience i know this video was probably not the greatest considering the highlights that we had put up just lots of garbage time but yeah see you guys